Hello, everyone! It's Way Up Trail and Zantok! Yay! I'm a pirate! We're pirates Yar. today! We're in the land of Sea of Thieves! Yeah! Why are we here? Well, it's been a year. Yeah, so much so a year has passed. That it's time once again for our top the Hunger Games? No, not the Hunger oh. Games yet. That's coming soon. Oh, right. Soon. That's, that's like next week, I think. Yeah, yeah, very soon. I'm excited for that, though. Yeah, um, always. But uh, it is time once again for our top ten games that we've played of the year. And gotta say, before we even start, um, I'm not as happy with my list as I was last year. Yeah, I, we, we both didn't play as many games this past year. Uh, like, I was looking at my list. Technically, there's a few that I could have included, but I haven't finished them yet or gotten very far in them. So it's like, eh, I don't want to include this game because I want to have more of a more of an experience with it before I can judge it. So I only had, like, 14 things on my list, and I think two of them are remakes. Yeah. It, it, so. Like, some. I mean, I played some interesting games, but, like, and some really good ones. But it just feel like my list compared to previous years is lacking. Yeah. But that's okay. It happens sometimes. I mean, I mean, hey, one year I had a Jackbox party pack on my list, so that must have been a real that must have been a real low year. Right. Oh, and, and as a reminder, this isn't necessarily games that are new this year. This mm -hmm. is games that are new to us that we played this year. Right. So, so yeah. we're not gonna have the whole Baldur's Gate 3 versus Spider-Man 2 versus Alan Wake 2 and whatever else was nominated this year. I don't remember. But we're not having that debate. Instead, it's, hey, this old game from 2018. Wow, calling 2018 old. <laughs> that, right? That Ooh. makes my back hurt already. Ooh. Versus this older game from 1994 or something. I don't know. It's, it's that. Because that's... Listen, we can't guarantee that we're going to play a bunch of games that are brand new this year. So... Fuck it. Yeah, I feel, I'm also looking at my like games I took off the list that didn't even make the top ten. I didn't have a ton of game option choices. I guess I just played like I played a lot of long games, and then a few like super short games. <laughs> like, e I think I have three, four that released this year. Yeah. Uh, so it, yeah, it's, it's a old. it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, any other uh, rules and things we got to go over? Uh, we do have an honorable mention that we'll get to um, in between our first and second. Honorable mention isn't necessarily game number 11 on our list. It's just something else that we played this past year for the first time. We wanted to highlight for whatever fucking reason. In some years, it has been our 11th game. In some years, it's been like, here's a remake or elect. Or in some cases, it's been, wow, this game was ass. Let's right. trash it. Right. Or, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of different reasons why a game could be honorable mention. Uh, yeah. So there's an island. There is, and we're about to hit it. But I think it stopped it. Just in time. Uh yeah, so we're gonna be playing CFDs while we uh while we uh do this. So we're not gonna do anything too intensive, I don't think, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Yeah, which 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 before we go into it, which 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 map is this? Uh I have to check. Oh, there's a there's a crustacean. Oh yeah, they they He's they, glowing red. Ashen Keymaster. Kill him. On it. Uh, we are on. I think it's the map on the right. I think. Possibly. I don't know. Well, anyway. But yeah. So we just. Oh. I just picked up a couple maps to get us started. Uh, that we'll search around and do stuff with. So yeah. But anyway. Oh, I already found the first dig spot. Cool. But yeah. That flies. But Shall yeah, we? that's that's how we do things. Yeah. So, Royal well, Trail, why don't you go ahead and start us off by giving us your number 10 game of the year for 2023. Oh, snap. All right, I'm starting her off with a game that I actually probably played. It's probably the last one that got added to my list. Oh. Um... The most it, recent game you played. It is the most recent game I played, uh, and I've only played it one time, uh, uh, which 
you know, with the, you would normally think like, oh, well, then you probably shouldn't have included it. But however, kind of once you play it, you you understand how it goes. Like it's not necessarily um, too complex overall. Mm. So yeah. But anyway, taking my number ten spot of the year is Lethal Company. So this game is, like I said, pretty new. It actually, I think it technically is a this year game. Um, it is a a survival horror. I think technically is the genre. Um, it is hilarious. <laughs> it, it uh, it's kind of like think would qualify under like the phasmophobia um, style where it's definitely better with people. Um, uh, better with people. And so I kind of got thrown into it with a couple people that I've met actually through Sea of Thieves, funny enough. And they're like, hey, get this game too and we'll play it. And I was like, all right, I guess. I don't know anything about it. And they're like, perfect. Um... So it is, yeah, it is pretty funny. It's you pretty much go around collecting scrap for these this benevolent uh, overlord of a company, and of course, as you're doing things, everything is out to kill you. Oh, classic. Yeah, like everything is out to kill you, um, and it is just a fun time all around. Uh, another good game with proximity chat and stuff like that. And it is just very, very entertaining. Um, the reason it is kind of lower on my list, um, one, like I said, I, didn't, I haven't played it a super ton. Uh, but it is a game I could see getting very repetitive and probably is worth, you know, a couple good tries. You know, a couple decent amounts of attempts to playing it. And then you probably move on. But it does seem like the devs are being like, oh, uh, we have something here. Uh, we'll work on it a little bit more. So, so that's good, anyway. But it's only Fair taking enough. my number 10 spot. So, yeah. Oh, dang. That's a shame. Yeah. It, it, what I'm hearing is we shouldn't tell your new best friends that you didn't care for the game as much. I No, I liked it, uh, actually, a lot. It's just I haven't played it enough to give it much else, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they are my new best friends, though. Anyway. <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh, so... Man, first I lose you to pro tip, now I'm losing you to these nameless people. Man. Well, the tempered ones. That's whose boat we're sailing. Yeah, well, is it to Ifri or Ramu? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so that was my number 10 starting us off. Zantok, mm -hmm. why don't you start us off with your number 10 game of the year? while I sail our boat. Well, my number 10 game of the year, I actually have only played twice. You might be thinking, well, Zantok, you've only played it twice. Shouldn't you play it a little more to determine if you know it or not? This is like what I did for my number 10. <laughs> yeah, you started doing that. I was like, oh, I'm going to do the same fucking thing. Uh, to that I say, no, because this is a game that's... You just shot your dog out of a cannon. Uh, first off, it's a fox, not a dog. Second off, yes, you can that's really mean. And he's going to come back real, real upset. To be fair, I've done that to Pro Tips Dog, or Fox, or whatever the creature I was. Any hoodle. Yeah, see, he's all, uh, he's all charred up and mad now. Yeah, I bet. He probably doesn't want to play with you anymore. May I, here, I'm going to get him cleaned up. He's gone. And he's gone. <laughs> I dropped him into the ocean. No. Uh, anyways, my number two game is uh, F-099. What? A new F-Zero game released in the year 2023? What the hell? I, I love, know, right? How Fans both, are shook it. I love how both of our games, of course, we say, oh yeah, they don't have to be played this year. Both games have been new. <laughs> Listen, we're well, doing most great. of my list is not. We're a little doing, over half of my list is not. We're doing good. <laughs> it just makes sense that we would have some games we played this year. Uh, that said, F-099 falls in the recent trip. well, I guess I should say recent, the trend that Nintendo Switch has done with their uh, Nintendo Switch Online, where they have these Battle Royale-esque games, a franchise that you would not put see get a Battle Royale. It started with Tetris 99, and then it was Super Mario 99, or maybe it was Pac-Man 99. One of the two of them was first. But now it's F-099. So you got 99, well, it's really not, not, not it's more like 
Actually, no, I think you can, yeah, it is 99 people, all on an F-Zero racetrack in the classic NES, SNES style. And you race. Uh, it's not really last man standing like other ones. Uh, instead, it's just like, you know, a standard race, but there is a little death line. And if you're going too, too slow, or if it comes to like, all right, it's lap three, and only the top 60 or whatever get to survive lap three, and you, you're in 61st place, well, you die, you lose, you're out. And then whoever gets first place is first place. And they have like a little tournament mode where uh, at the where um, there's five tracks. For track one, you have to finish on the top 80, or you're dead. Track, track two, top 60, then 40, and so on, which is pretty fun. I, I enjoy playing a lot. I streamed it twice, and it was pretty enjoyable. Fans have been wanting a new F-Zero for years. It's not exactly what fans wanted. Ooh, there's people to kill. But... Uh, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, I got in a race against Mewtwo King, uh, a um, one of the professional Smash Melee players, and he got first. So I was like, "Ah oh, man!" And at first, I was just like, "Yeah, but was it really Mewtwo King?" And then I looked at his stream, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he's playing F Zero Nine right now. That was actually him." So I have uh, I have actually played a game with Mewtwo King before and lost. I, I can say that now. Nice. Yeah, I'm slightly famous. I would have appeared on his stream, technically. <laughs> slightly famous. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know much about it. I'm also, uh, probably not my type of game. No offense. No, that's fair. I mean, it, it's enjoyable, but I can't really put it any higher. I mean, I guess theoretically I could put it like nine or something, but being the type of game that it is, I really can't put it at a higher, uh, a higher ranking. It's fun, but it's not something that I can play a lot. You know? Right. No, I'll check out. Um, yeah, like, uh, Battle Royale games and racing games for me are just like, man, nah. So, I mean, but, hey, if you like it, I mean, I know you yeah. and your Nintendo. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you remember the old arcade games, uh, that you would play in Walmarts? I was like, okay, here's, like, your, your racing game. It, it's basically like that. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Um... So yeah, that um, is your number 10. I'm also looking on the map now trying to find this thing. No, that's fair. That's Brain fair. power. Just I'm just fucking really the easy things. things. Right. I mean, to let's be fair, it's you. Yeah. Brain power just doesn't work for me very often anyway. Brain power, what is? Right. Uh, A competitive voyage. Oh, oh, yeah, that's Skull uh, Siren Song. No, 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 no. That's... I've never seen that before. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, uh... Anyways. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, episode 99. It's fun. I enjoyed it. I play as... I think it's Pico's ship. What, the Fire Stingray? Mm -hmm. Uh... It's fun. Yeah. Well, with that, I think it's time to move on to our number nine game of the year. I guess it'd be mine, right? Yes, it would be yours, because I was because you were first. Right, right, right. right. Also, let's uh -oh. like, look, we'll bomb our way to the number nine I spot. Just, I was just swimming around the island. I just see <laughs> a bomb. It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> I found that. Starts trying going backwards, like, hmm. I dug it up and saw it there, and I was like, I did. I don't care about the money for this, and they're dangerous to carry on the boats anyway. <laughs> I saw an opportunity well, to take it. Yeah, yeah, uh, you sure did. Which yep. island is this? It's this one. Uh, bottom. It's the one that's not purple. Yeah, no, I, I, I know which one it is. I found it. Okay, yeah, there's something like right here somewhere. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna move on to my. Oh, really? Okay, don't mm, blow this one up. It's too close to the boat. Um, uh, my number nine game of the year is a game gifted to me by none other than Zoe. Um, uh, so yeah, you thank still you. talk to Zoe? Yeah, Jigglypuff Magpie? Um, oh. I'm just gonna blow this up over here. I'm just gonna actually just leave it there if you don't want it. Um, so yeah. The game that Zoe gifted me is Biomutant. Uh, so oh, it's a Vermling game. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, you're not wrong. Oh my god, it makes so much sense now. <laughs> Why Zoe likes that game and wanted me to play it. It's literally a Vermlin playing game. <laughs> yeah, I thought you knew that. No, I never, I guess I never thought about it. That's so funny. It's so true. Um, yeah, so Biomutant, uh, kind of open world, a post apocalyptic. Um, you're, you're a raccoon. Okay, you're, you're a vermin. Yeah, you're a little rat. Um, and pretty much you just go about trying to save what you can, see some really weird things, and uh, it's kind of a hack and slash shoot 'em up as well. It, it's it's a weird combo. Um, I did stream it. It is a uh, pretty neat game overall. Uh, I really liked the open world part of it, the quest lines, and just kind of like the, oh, humans used to be a thing, but they're not, but here's their old tech, and you're like, all the names of everything is just like really odd names. Um, like a guitar is a twing twang, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that's um, funny. Yeah, then they're all like great like that. Like one of the main characters' name is out of date because he's old. Which is funny itself. I wish I could live in a world where humans are not a thing anymore. <laughs> um, I did rate it kind of lower on the list because um, I kind of got to a point where I was kind of like done with it, you know, and, but the game wasn't over. You know how that kind of goes. Yeah, um, I do. Yeah. I do. I was like, I could really use a move on. It, it just got a little long. So then I kind of was getting to the point where I'm like, all right, side quest I'm done with. I'm just... I'm just going to kind of finish this game up here. Um, not to say it was bad. It just got long. Um, I kind of was just getting over it at that point. Oop, we're going to hit this island because I suck at driving. Um, oh, never mind. Like a glove. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to rate Biomutant as my number nine slot. Xantok. Yeah, what's up? What is your number nine game of the year? Well, my number nine game of the year, you might be surprised by just based on what series it's from. Because, you know, that I have a. Con you know, I like some of the games in this series. Uh, it's the newest game in the series. It's Fire Emblem Engage. Oh. Only coming in at number nine. Uh, God. Three Houses was great. I fucking loved it. I liked the characters. The story was fun. I, I like the things they did with it. Engage's story? Wow. Hmm. It's no bueno. Great. Yeah, it's it's pretty bog standard. It's like I, Fire Emblem has a lot of typical patterns, and they're not necessarily bad. But when you have a game like Three Houses, that really did something different with its presentation and the kind of plot you had and then you go back to engage which is very very normal for a final game and i've it's it's a big disappointment and a lot of the characters did not feel like they were as interesting there's some good ones in there i as a few characters i really like but man man i it definitely could have used some revision before they released it uh, with its story. It's got some good chapters to it, and there's some moments that I was like, oh, wow, that's actually really cool, and I did not see this coming. But a lot of it was like, okay, we're just going with the normal formula here. I did like the gameplay for it, though. They added some new things to how the combat works, uh, some new uh, unit types that grant them, like, different skills, and the engage system where you can, because um, it's also supposed to be like the anniversary game for the Fire Emblem series, and so there are rings that your characters can wear that lets you summon up uh, essentially an avatar of previous protagonists who will uh, grant you abilities that you can use in battle, which is, you know, at first when they revealed that, I was like, wow, this is stupid. But seeing it actually, I was like, okay, no, this is kind of cool, and some of the abilities are broken as fuck. Like a long-range teleport that you can then immediately follow up with a very powerful a uh, magic attack. It's like, holy god, why did you give this to me? Uh, so I like some of the gameplay changes they had. Those were those are fun, but the story itself, hmm, 
Yeah, guys, can we can we go back to the three houses formula, or at least something that's not just hey, look, guys, nation got attacked. Let's go around and get allies from the other nations, and then go back. And oh, look, it's just the princes and princesses of all these nations, and then their random retainers and a few average joes. Hmm. That said, uh, the new version of Anna is to be protected, and anybody that says anything bad against her can get thrown overboard. <laughs> uh, never been, I never really played any Fire Emblem, so I can't speak much to it. Uh, but sure, for Anna, be protected. She's, Got it. She is a sneaky child merchant. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. Already like, Anna. Anna and there's there's been a version of Anna in every Fire Emblem game. Uh, in early games, she was basically just like a tutorial character or a, or just like a shop character that you'd interact with. But in more recent games, she's actually been a playable character, typically under like a thief uh, or trickster class. And she'll um, like her character revolves around being a merchant, and uh, she's not afraid to be tricksy when it comes to cutting deals. And for the new one, there's like, what if Anna but child? It's like, oh my god. He's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's time to move on to my number eight game of the year. If you could count that low, yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot of thought, especially trying to find this stupid X on a map. Well, which map are we? Uh, it's the... Oh, uh, it's the really long-looking one. So the middle one? For me, it's the one on the right, but I... Probably not for you. Okay, so it's one that has the giant trees. No. One below the... that. Okay, so the one that looks like a broken bottle. That's fair. Yeah. All right. I can't seem to find this one X. I'm having a hard time with it. It's making me want to cry. Um, but, yeah. So, my number eight game of the year... Um... I believe I played it for the first time this year, and I I played it a little bit. I kind of need to get more into it, um, and I know it's gonna really upset someone that it's only number eight on my list and not higher. Is it um, me? No, it's not. I think you'll be. I think you won't have really much of an opinion on where it placed. Um, but my number eight game of the year is The Sims Four. <gasps> Yeah, it's always about to blow our gasket right now. Um, so yeah, I uh, I like sim games. I've always liked sim games, not to um, uh, Zoe. Extent. I just crashed. Oh. Um, have you thought about not? You know, I thought about it, but in the end, I was just like, "Wouldn't it be a funny moment if I just crashed?" Oh. Yeah, look at you just standing there all by yourself. Yep. Huh. Well, good job. Anyways. Anyways, I'll continue on. Uh, so, uh, I like sim games. That's no secret to anybody. Oh, this is going to be really poor for you. Um, Am I being attacked? Oh, you were, but you lost the crew now. Oh, good. Um, I, yeah, no secret. I like sim games, uh, like simulation games in general. The Sims being one of the earliest games I played. Um, and I've always liked The Sims. But... Uh, this one, again, I haven't had much time to get into it, but I still like having some sort of goal, which is why it hasn't ranked higher for me. Um, I still like having that objective at the end instead of just uh, get them their job and stuff like that. It's like, okay, next step, you know? Um, this one does have some, like, uh, I forget what they call them. I think they're called, might be story modes. Where it's like you get a family or you can make a family and then they have to accomplish certain things. Hmm. Um, and that's kind of fun. Uh, I did like that. Um, yeah. And, I don't know. I just kind of enjoy it. They're, it. I like those games to just kind of relax and chill. And when I'm not doing anything else, it makes a fun time. So Yeah, so I think the uh, Sims 4 is taking my number 8 spot on my list. Uh, That's great. I'm validating files, and so it's going to take half an hour. I'll say this is where normally uh, we'd 
see Xantok do stuff, but um, he's uh, yeah, he's in the abyss um, right now. Yeah, uh, this is bad. Uh, but anyways, I'm I'm trying to get the game to work, but we'll just see. It's I think I'm going to be stuck in validating files for the rest of this recording. So that's fun. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah. But anyways, we're actually, we're on to num my number eight game, right? Uh, yes, we're on number eight. I just realized I didn't even have it, mine numbered. I should probably do that just so it's easier to keep track. Probably should. Uh, you want to know something really ironic about my number eight game? What's that? I can't play it. Oh. Because it's validating files. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sea of Thieves! Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, my number eight it's game of 2023 is 2023. Uh, it's Sea of Thieves, rather. I, wow, I words wow um maybe like i should knock it down to number nine yeah uh, it's almost like you know uh, i'll show you number eight yeah uh so see if it's a fun game um i, I had kind of had like a vague interest in it previously and then earlier this year you were just like hey sea of thieves i was like oh you're playing sea of thieves like yeah well i want to i want to join and i was like i'm gonna go download it and then we started playing and ha huzzah we're trying to play it here now uh we've only made some progress into the story because you know people are gonna people but now that safer sees us here we can actually do the main story without worrying about people being dicks and trying to sink us when we're ferrying a quest item from one island to another because it's been a thing mm -hmm. but i mean it, it it's fun they it's one of those games though that i can't play it first there are some games that you can play like all day and not feel like anything is wrong in the world. See if these though, I can't do that. I can only play for a few hours, and then one, my attention starts to wane, or, or two, people being dicks just gets me not wanting to anymore. But maybe we'll see for seeds that'll change. We'll kind of see. I know that we want to get through the rest of the story um, eventually, probably. Well, at least make a good chunk in 2024, I'd assume. Uh, whether or not we'll finish it or not, you know, that's anybody's guess. But it's fun. I just can't put it much higher because, you know me, I like me a story and a game, and I like good, long hours of content of uh, experiencing a huge world and doing cool shit. And see, it thinks that's some cool shit, but there's... It's a, multi, it's a, it's a big multiplayer game. That's kind of where it falls. It's fun, it's just... It, it's no... It's no Ghost of Tsushima. Right. Uh, yeah, I get that. I do like it a lot. Um, it does have its flaws. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's a decent game. All right. Well, while you're in validating hell, yep. uh, and see if these punish you for rank ranking it where you did. Well, they should have added Sleeper C's sooner. Right. I'll say it. Um, mm -mm. I do, yeah, Sleeper C's is going to be, especially for, like, like, if you're just going around to get money, it's it actually still makes sense to do the not safer seas because it's just way more lucrative. Um, it is riskier, obviously, but, yeah, like, right. when we want to do Tall Tales and people are being people and you're like, just, I just need to get this quest item over there, please, I don't even have any treasure, just let me pass, you know? Because mm -hmm. when it gets a little frustrating... And you just want to be done with it. Um, but yeah. Or when you can't find a stupid axe on the map. That also is frustrating. I might just leave this one, honestly. Um, Still can't find it? No. I, Did I went you get the, the other, other one? one? Yeah, I went and got the oh. other one. But this one's making me upset. But anyway. Um, yeah, I guess it's time for my number seven game of the year. Yeah. Taking my number tw uh, seven spot, of, I almost messed up like you did, of 2023 is going to be a stealth game. I Ew. love. Oh, it's definitely time uh, to uh, move the boat. Um, it, the, I love my stealth games, don't get me wrong. I really do. And I decided to put Dishonored at my number seven spot of the year. Uh, Dishonored, like I said, a stealth game. Uh, really like my stealth games. And I love, like, a lot of the kills and stuff. 
a little dated, I would say, by the time I got around to playing it. Um, which is fine. It's still a good game. It felt kind of, uh, I would say, unlike Biomutant, I felt like it was a little um, short at time for me. Uh, I could have used a little bit more. I even played through the DLC right away and was like, okay, it's still a bit, uh, still a bit short. I know there's Dishonored 2, and I would look forward to playing that at some point. Um, it's just a matter of getting around and doing it, um, which may be this year. Who knows? <gasps> um, it didn't rank in the top five for me. Uh, I think, and I think pretty much this is has to deal with the length of the game and it was a little dated by the time i got to it um so yeah that's kind of why i'm placing dishonored where it is even though i did i did enjoy it so Fair yeah enough. i think you watched a little bit of it didn't you i don't know i can't recall if you did if I did, I just, like, had the stream open once. Right. I, I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember if you popped in much for that one or not. You, sometimes you'll pop in for, like, a series that I'm playing or... Um, yeah. Uh, or something. It, it really depends on what you're playing. Right. Because, like, there's some games that, you know, just not interested in. Right. And same goes for you. Right. And I get it. Yeah. Island is shooting at me. It's making me upset. Uh, is it one of the bandit or whatever the hells it is? No, the uh, certain islands just have like cannons on the island. Mm -hmm. Them will shoot uh, from it. Because they're dicks. Yeah. Like this guy you is know, like this cannon. Do you know why they're dicks? Trying. Why are they? They don't have any anymore. Right. Well, I totally left at the right time. Is that ship is really trying to get me? Mm. Yeah, there's a galleon that was rolling up, and I'm like, you know, time to go. That's fair. Yeah. Not that I really have all that much to lose, but, you know, I'd rather not. I mean, yeah. It, it, you'd like to get some treasure. All right. All right, so, Xantok. Huh? What? Uh, how's validating hell for stuff? Uh... 19% Oh, 30 oh. minutes remaining. <laughs> so, we're not seeing Xantok on this boat again, ladies and gents. Um, probably not. Probably not. Oh, hell, now it's 26. Oh, no, 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 25 minutes remaining? It, you know, we're it's jumping. It's jumping. Oh, that, yeah, we, that... We could we could flesh it out, and then, you know, I appear right at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah that galleon is 100% following me. Um, so that's fun. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll go sell stuff off because I have a feeling I'm about to I'm... get my boat sank. But I will get the gold. Uh, I don't think you're getting the gold either way, bud. You can wait 27 rounds. Uh, well, I mean, can I, though? Yes. I, I do see something behind me that seems to want my blood. But anyway. Word. Sorry, Anyway. Number seven. So, number seven is going to be from another franchise that you might be thinking, wow, Zantok uh, put a game from that franchise this low? What? What What happened here? Because, well, Charlie, you know I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, right? Oh. And, there's a, and I have a Final Fantasy game as low as number seven? What? That's that's crazy. That's, that's ludicrous. That's insane. Well, <sighs> there's good reason. It's not... I don't dislike this game, but I definitely had my problems with it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you a question. What if Final Fantasy but Dark Souls? Oh. And any Final Fantasy fan that has watched this video now knows exactly what game I'm talking about. And why it's this slow. They might be wondering, wow, it's this high? Wow. Hmm. Fair. Fair. So this is Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. It's it's got an interesting premise behind it, being essentially Final Fantasy's version of a Dark Souls game. So it's an action uh, RPG game. You still you're having to deal with you know dodging and blocking giant fucking monster bosses attacks. 
They've still got a class changing system that you can swap between on the fly uh, and be able to do a bunch of different combos and attacks. The story is... It's a meme. The story is meme, Don. It's not... It's not... It's not... What's the word I'm looking for here? It's a meme story. They, they they made... They essentially were making like, hey, what if we took the original Final Fantasy game, which is pretty lacking in its story and its world building, and used that as the premise for our uh, Dark Souls game? And at first, people like me were just like, oh, so they're remaking Final Fantasy 1 in this new style. That's really interesting. But then you play through the game and you realize, wait a minute, this isn't a remake. It's a prequel. What? Which kind of makes sense when you remember the fact that the original Final Fantasy game, uh, its plot is time loop. The villain of the game uh, uses the time loop uh, as the entire plot for it, where at first you fight them as just a regular knight in the beginning of the game, and then there's these four elemental fiends that send them back in time at most before their death to like a thousand years in the past so that they can eventually gain power and become uh, the demon Chaos. Which then sends the elemental fiends into, uh, creates them, or however the heck that goes. Like, it's been a while since I played it to remember specifically. And it just creeps a never ending loop as he sends the fiends uh, to time, and then they send him back, and it's just on and on and on forever until the Word of Light comes in and he stomps all their asses. But in this game, you're the prequel, you become the character that becomes Chaos. Uh, it reveals um, why this whole system has been going on in the first place. It's because power corrupts, essentially, and there's always a dark force that needs to be gone because, you know, light brings dark, dark brings light, yada, yada, yada. But uh, I like the premise behind it, even if the plot and the dialogue is uh, memed. Very deservedly so. Uh, but one, I'm not very good at that kind of gameplay, and I only really played it because there's a multiplayer option. You can play it with up to three people. Why three when four is typically the number? I don't understand but you can play it with uh three people in total but what i didn't like is that at the end when you get towards the end of the game story stuff happens between you and your party members and all of a sudden even if you're you were playing with somebody you can't play with them anymore you have to do like the final mission solo including the final boss which frustrated the hell out of me because again i'm not great at that kind of game and i turned the difficulty down it's like nope I suck. This is not fun. I I was having fun with the game. Now I'm not. It's like, what the hell? I, I don't play a multiplayer game to all of a sudden be forced to play solo. That ain't cool. Like, what? So go fuck yourself. And then uh, I had also bought the version that has... I bought the DLC for it because I was like, okay, I get to do the DLC. It's going to bring in Gilgamesh, and Gilgamesh is really fun. Uh, and there's also a DLC... Uh, about the Emperor from the second Final Fantasy game, which is strange because they're in completely separate worlds from each other. And then after finding the DLC, I found out the DLC are not, is not multiplayer. It's single player again. Fuck that shit! God, I wanted to play a fun multiplayer Final Fantasy in the beat up monsters with my friend, and then the game's just like, ha! Huh. Fuck you! And to that I say, go fuck yourself! Huh. Well. Uh, yeah, not, never heard of that game. Uh, I do want to give you an it update. Was... Huh? Uh, so, I thought I was in real big trouble when another boat was approaching me. Uh-huh. And I was like, well, poop nugget. Um, because it looked like they both wanted me. However, <laughs> uh, they are now fighting each other. And I'm just peacing out. Nice. Uh, I can give you an update, too. I said that, and it's getting worse. Oh. God damn it. Oh, uh, we're, we're at 42% validation, and we're jumping between uh, 14 and 20 minutes remaining. Nice. I, it looks yeah. like the big boat won. Shocking uh, no one. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one guy did shoot over and, and was trying to talk to me, and I was like, I'm just, I'm just peacing out. I don't, I don't want to deal with people while we're recording. 
so that boat can stay way over yonder and not be a problem for me. It does require me to get new maps, though, because I, well, um, that area is dangerous now. All right. Mm -hmm. Is it time for number six? Yeah. Well, just missing my top five is a game that, I mean, if I, hold on, if I kind of look like this, there we go, that's the view, looked like this for the majority of the game. I look like what? I can't see it. The water! Just the water! Lots and oh. lots of water, except trash in the water. So it's Sea of Thieves? Not Sea of Thieves, that's why I looked away from the boat. Oh. Uh, it was Raft. Raft is taking my number six spot of... I think I played it super early in the year, too. Like, way at the beginning of the year. Um, it is a g game I have been wanting to play for so long. Like, I was like, I really want to play this. I've been waiting to play it, but I wanted to play it with someone. And uh, Pro Tip was like, hey, I'll play Raft. And I was like, yes! Because uh, it's a survival game, which I know is not Xantok's favorite type of game. Yeah. Yeah, I knew he wasn't on board much for Raft. If, if it's something that has more, like, clear objectives... I can be more interested, but like The Sims or Animal Crossing, which is like, this is a life simulator. It's like, mm -hmm. Um, mm. So I was pretty excited about the idea of Raft because it has also been out tech. Like, I've known about the game for a long time because it's been in early access for, mm, what's the word, ever, mm. <laughs> uh, it feels like. And so I was just really thrilled that it finally was out of early access. There was now a story and was excited about it. And so me and ProTip kind of spent a few weeks and just kind of made that game our home for a little bit. And uh, I actually really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I ranked it not in the top five, just mostly because like, I had to wait forever for it. And it's got its quirks. But I still super enjoyed the game and really liked it. Um, and I kind of... The ending was kind of like a womp womp. You know, like a... Yeah. Like a, oh, this this game, you know, it was, it was fun. It was great. And then the ending just kind of made it like a sour note right at the end. You're like, oh. Like it could have been, I feel like, a little bit better than just... You won, or you beat the game. You know, like, oh, I, I don't know. I was expecting, like, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted, but just it wasn't that. What if it ended with a giant eagle swooping down and ripping your head off, and that was the last thing you got before you credits? You know, might have been better. Might have been better. Just saying. You could have maybe done something with that. What um, the fuck? Golf with your friends has an update scheduled? Golf with your friends? What? Really? Yeah, it has an update schedule for our, uh, this... Okay. You don't have friends. Listen. I just talked about how I <laughs> played Final Fantasy Origin with somebody! <laughs> I have at least that person! Aw, you think you have friends. How Even you? if you left me. Golf with your friends. Teams mode out now. Oh! oh. Oops, that's interesting. That is. Hmm. Um... But... Dating yeah. the episode. Yeah, right? Uh, I mean, Safer Seas, when we said that was new, was also dating the episode. I mean, any time in December, it was going to be new. That's true. So. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so, I liked it. It was fun. I'm glad I finally got to play it. And just kind of left that one little sour note at the end. I think it's why it ranked a little lower for me. Uh, but... I did enjoy it, and it was a lot of fun playing with ProTip, because that was really, I think, the first series uh, ProTip was on, because I think I remember asking him, like, hey, are you okay if I record this? And that boat is on its way again. Um, the boat! I was like, are you okay if I record this and uh, play, uh, we can play it? And he's like, yeah, go for it. I'm like, sweet! And, uh, yeah. So we got to play that mm. this year. Oh, cool. Um, but yeah. So Xantok, what just missed your number or your top five? 
Well, first of all, I have an update for you. Uh, we're at 58% and 33 minutes remaining. <laughs> Good, because I'm also being attacked now by Skelly. So there's that. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, my number 16, just barely because of my top 5, is probably... Actually, I'm not sure what is the oldest game on my list. It's either Sea of Thieves, Song of the Origin, or this game. One of those three is the oldest game on my list. But this one is... Back to Nintendo. Uh, this is actually a series. It's the first mainline title from this series that I have actually played the entirety of. It's Kirby Planet Robobot. Kirby? Have we had a Kirby. Kirby? Have we had a Kirby game on our list? Uh no, not on our list, never, because the last Kirby game I the the only other Kirby games I've actually played were Kirby Air Ride, which is GameCube oh. era. It was Kirby amazing Air fucking Ride. game. Yeah, yeah. But it's not really one that has like like it's not, it's not a big story, or at all. So it's like, you know, I can't really count this as like the mainline game that I completed. Right. And then I, I played a little bit of the original just to have, just to check it out. Right. Uh, and um, then I played a teensy bit of Mass of Mass Effect, or not Mass Effect, um, Kirby, Kirby Mass something. I forgot what it's called. But you have like like ten Kirby, ten mini Kirby that you can control. It's like, oh my god. But uh, yeah, Kirby Planet Robot, um, a lot of people consider it one of the best, if not the best, uh, side-scrolling Kirby games. Uh, Forgotten Land is now up for the title of best Kirby game by a lot of people, but that one's not a uh, typical side-scroller. It's kind of 3D world, too, which is crazy fun! But uh, a lot of people love Planet Robot, It's and I was like, okay, I was kind of like in between games, I didn't really know what I wanted to play. I was like, yeah, I've got this on my 3DS. Kirby's probably pretty short. Let's just see what this is like. And uh, it's fun. I, I enjoyed it. I got to pilot a mecha, nice. which is crazy. And I got to... Um, that mecha was able to take on some of Kirby's copy abilities, which meant even crazier shit. Uh, the final boss was a little rough for me. Uh, it took me a couple tries to beat them. But I had fun with the game. Uh, it gets kind of lower because it's a shorter game. Um, but I had fun with it, and I could see why people like this one. The only thing I didn't really quite understand is that from this game and what people have talked about with it, I thought that Susie, a, uh, a robot girl that fights, that will fight in a mech as well, uh, I thought she was kind of a bigger part of the game. She's really barely in it, which is definitely not the impression I got from people, because I see people saying, like, they should add Susie to Smash, because she's like this big thing in this new game. It's like, oh, okay, well, let me see what she's like. It's like... Oh, uh, I first encountered her in, like, the second to last world. I, I encounter her, like, I have a conversation with her, like, four worlds in. And then I fight her a couple worlds later. And it's like, alright, game's over. It's like, that's, that's all she was? Okay. I mean, the mech was cool. It was fun. But I was confused, like, why are we... It's, the people talk about Susie was in, like, half the game, and she's not... How's it going? Uh, are you are you trying to outrun a boat? Uh, yes and yes. Well, uh, Susie can't really help you with that because it's a giant metal mecha tank, and there's right. no water ability. You could shoot out giant boomerang blades, maybe and help. I almost lost my head by a cannonball. I saw that. that crazy. Oh my god! Just pick up the loot. Uh, I'm in a uh, skeleton battle. I think it's just gonna keep spawning skeleton boats for a little bit. Yeah. As long as I keep killing them. But I killed one and I want our loot. So I stopped the boat. Uh, also, in fun fun news, the big boat is also close by again. That's fun. Well, I might be able to help out in seven minutes. Time to go. Actually, let's repair the boat a little bit first, because we're about to sink. Now, so we get the boat moving. Probably should. Yeah. Because then I can at least get away. And the big boat decides to come back. Hmm, right. you know something I noticed? 
What? None of the games I played on stream this year have been mentioned yet. Really? I wonder if they'll be anywhere on my list. I would say that, but I did... Wow. I did Biomutant, so that was one of the games I streamed, so... Oh, so was Raft. Yeah. I mean, the first up. Well, yes, but it was also the way. Right. Uh, well, that means we're ready for our top five. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, uh, we got through the crap five, now it's time for the five good ones. Uh, so, yay. Um, it's really hard to focus during a fight. I'm gonna be real with you. That's understandable. I'm just trying to get away now. I don't want, I don't want a part of this. Especially because I see that big boat is circling. Like a vulture. Yeah, they are, honestly. Okay. That's not what vultures sound like, but... No, not I'm even close. If I can just hit my boat moving in that direction away from the big boat set it up just straight, then I can focus for a minute. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, forward. Now go stop the boat from sinking. Okay, uh, so, number five game of the year for me uh, is a game I'm currently playing on stream. Uh, it is not uh, done yet. I'm probably, if I had to guess, Either halfway or a little below half. I'm not fully sure yet. Um, it is... I love my zombie games. And this game is a zombie game. Except you kind of parkour over zombies and... Uh, I know what this is. Yeah, trying to avoid them and kind of. And nighttime is bad all the time. Uh, it's Dying Light 2. I finally got around to playing the second one. And I gotta admit, I, I just repaired that. Uh, I'm enjoying it, uh, rather quite a bit. Um, it's been a lot of fun uh, getting to. I love the parkour aspect of it, of a zombie survival game, which makes sense to me, where everyone like it's like uh, zombies are on the ground. Well, why don't we like you know go to the rooftops? You know that just makes sense. So, I like that idea and kind of like yeah that's for me uh and so i have been enjoying that quite immensely and it has been very very fun to stream and yeah i love zip lines that's also a lot of fun i think that's really what i got to say about dying light too um it I, didn't I saw a little bit of your stream not enough to understand anything except apparently there was a guy that was mad at a guy and then you didn't kill the guy, and then there was a lady that appeared, and you were like, is that her dad or something? I don't remember. Hmm. I don't recall either. I don't know. I, yeah. That's what I saw happen. Nah, fair. It's crazy stuff sometimes. Um, but yeah, it it's a little wonky at times, and you're like, I grabbed that ledge, just do it, you know? Oh, but yeah. But it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so that's my number five game of the year. Zantok, your turn. Number five. It's a game that I played on stream. Hey, we finally got Woo! there. That's a good thing, though, because it means the games that I played on stream were good. That's not fair. Unless, or they were real bad, they didn't make the list. Let me look at the list of games that I didn't include. <laughs> <laughs> Actually... Uh, Let's see, are any of the ones I uh, are not on the list? Um, no. You weren't streamed. You, you're on the list. You weren't. Yeah, none of the games well, I streamed well, were on the not made list. Technically speaking, there is one game that is not on, that will not, that did not make uh, any of my list tonight, but we will talk about it, uh, later. Hmm. Right. But, uh, number five is a game that, you know I like to do that poll to get people to force me to play a game, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since they're very list. Maybe I should run one soon. Hmm. Mm, I probably do hmm. for one, even though we'd never finish maybe, the other. Maybe in the next couple months I can do another one. 
We'll see. But this game didn't win any of the polls, but it did do very well. I think this game actually was the second place game uh, when I ran the poll back in 2022. Uh, it just took me a while to get to it. But this is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. It's a heck of a game. Uh, it is what I keep hearing myself come out of your headset for some reason is uh, throwing me off. Maybe I'll it, it it's one part visual novel uh with with 13 characters that you can rotate between their stories uh dealing with time travel in giant alien kaiju and learning that oh uh we are destined to pilot these giant mechas and defeat the aliens because of something hmm. and i say something because spoilers bro uh but then it's also one part RTS, where you're taking the giant robots and um, piloting them around the city, uh, a map of the city, really, and um, doing giant punches or firing off large swaths of missiles, uh, trying to defend the city from attack and repel the alien invaders. And the way the game really wants you to do it is uh, there are like little checkpoints, like, okay, you get a little bit farther in the story, then it's like, okay, you can't progress this character until you do this other character and get them to a certain point, or until you do this much of the combat mode. And in the combat mode, it'll be like, okay, you've played this much of combat mode, but we're going to have to ask you to stop here until you've done this much of the story. It's like, wow, okay. Uh, and it was fun. Uh, it's very, the plot is very confusing as you're going through it. Uh, I feel like I understand it for the most part, but I also don't feel like I would have to do a good job of explaining a lot of it. The, there is a guy out there on YouTube that made like an eight hour video going over the lore of the game. To be fair, he's most, from what I, I didn't watch the whole thing, but from what I looked at it, it's mostly reading the, um, the information that's already in the game and going back over it, while also... Then at some point in the video, he started, like, playing a game. So it's, like, not really eight hours, but it's a, technically an eight hour video. Uh, but it's very fun. It's just, it's a lot to wrap your mind around the story in that game. But it's enjoyable, and I had, I like, like, some of the characters. Uh, Ogata and Kisaragi are uh, top two. Tak Takamiya is also up there. Um, fuck Goto. Fuck Amaguchi. Uh, who's the other one I really don't like? Don't remember. A uh, Ryoko, she she don't know me was kind of bleh, whatever. See if these not sure done correctly during the last time it was run. Do you want to run a file and take her to check? I thought we just did that. Oh no. No. Just the verifying was finished. No. I was gonna get to join back in, but I don't know. But yeah, it it was a fun game. I definitely enjoyed it. I'd like to see like if it's possible for them to do anything else in that world and. There's, there's technically um, room open for that. So I'm curious to see what will happen if they ever go back to it. Vanilla Wear, I don't think at this point they've ever done a sequel. I don't think. But, you know, never know. All right. Well, time for number four. You know, and I think four and four just go together, you know. Final Fantasy IV. So I'm putting Yakuza 4 Remastered in the number four spot. Kind of like Dying Light 2. It's also a game I haven't finished yet. I'm probably halfway through, maybe a little more. Um, and it's my first ever Yakuza game that I've played. Uh, I watched all of Zero, Kawami, 2 and 3, or however many there are up to 4. I watched all yeah, of... Uh, Zero, Kwame, Kwame 2, and 3. Yeah, I watched all those by uh, Ray Nervares uh, Jr. He played those, and I really liked him when he was in part of Achievement Hunter. Um, so he kind of got me hooked on him, and then I kind of saw that um, another streamer friend of ours, Aza, Robo Aza, has kind of... is a big fan, let's just say that much. Is a big fan of Kiru and all everything he does um and i was like you know what i've been meaning to eventually get around to playing that and screw it i'll start and i'll get four and i got like a bundle of them for pretty cheap 
I was like, all right, here we go. I'm getting it. And it is pretty fun. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of fighting games in general. So I usually don't really tend to seek them out ever. Uh, but it has been fun. The story's really good in the Yakuza games. Um, and really, the, the story's not the main point of Yakuza games, I feel like. It's all the side stuff you can do. There's so much side stuff. Yeah, like helping a girl become a better S&M person. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy fun. Um, but even like, and part of me really likes the, having lived in Japan for a year, the, just the different things that I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, I've, I've, kind of remember stuff like that like seeing all the little shops that are just around it just brings back fun memories for me so i don't know it's kind of fun seeing all that stuff and i really enjoy it um so i was like you know i uh i've been i've been kind of i wish i kind of maybe started playing those from the get-go instead but it's fine didn't play them from the get-go but I'm not, it's all right I just have one comment here real quick. I'm sorry, you said it was a fighting game? Yes. Wrong? It's an action game. Street Fighter is a fighting game. Mortal Kombat is a fighting I game. I consider it a fight. Like, you do lots of You fighting. are factually wrong. Go By your logic, Ghost of Tsushima is a fighting game. Or any game where you're running through a map and you can punch and hit people. That's not a fighting game, sir. I don't know. I, I It's got a lot of fighting compared to like some other games. That's mm -hmm. called an action game. Yeah. It's literally... I just looked for a while the bottom page. Yakuza 4 is an action-adventure game. It is not a fighting game. Well, you are again, actually wrong. <laughs> like I said, I had avoided it for that reason. Uh, so, and that's probably also why, because it is like a fighting game, that it doesn't rank higher than that for me. Um, action game is an a very established genre. So yeah, it's ranking at number four. It doesn't make the top three. Xantok can suck it. Oh my god, no, you're just... This isn't even just an opinion thing. You're just an idiot. Nah. Yes! Nah. God. <laughs> I hate how much of a moron you are. Get on the boat! I'm, tr I'm loading the game back up! Just then I can click the join back off of you. Get your butt on the boat. Stop belly aching. When you admit that you're wrong. But I don't have to deal with you if I... This seems like a win-win situation for me. All right, well, uh, <laughs> see you guys. We're done here. It's like, it's Anyways, uh, Yakuza 0 is not the next thing on my list, but it will probably be on my list next year because I'm currently streaming that. Uh, yeah, again, have... thanks to uh, Robo Oz's influence and not Way of Trails. Yeah, I have a. Uh, yeah, I, I purposely have not been uh, streaming Yakuza. Uh, I thought about streaming. You knew I was going to eventually? No, actually. I, I kind of wanted it to be a relaxing game for me. Fair. Um, So that I'm like, all right, I needed a game that I'm like, this game is not going to be recorded. It's not going to be streamed. It's just for fun. And because I know Yakuza has some weird stuff. Yeah, that's certainly true. And was like, eh, I stream, and part of me is like, I've because I've watched them play it a little bit. I'm like, I don't know if I want that on my stream, and because I, you know, like some of my students, you know, watch my streams. And I was like, eh, that doesn't seem like the best content to have on my channel to bite me in the butt later. There's definitely some weird stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I was kind of on the, all right, maybe I just, uh, let this one go <laughs> and not yeah. stream it. I mean, m much like uh, 13 Sentinels, when, when I was having um, polls for people to vote for me to play games, the entire Yakuza series got nominated both times. So I was just like, okay, regardless of how well it does, I'm going to be doing this game eventually. It's just going to be a thing if I don't. Uh, but I, ha I have been enjoying Yakuza 0 uh, up to this point. 
Every I'm time not I... quite halfway through, but because I keep getting distracted by side content oh, yeah. and becoming a real estate mogul has <laughs> been my big thing lately. Yep, I was about to say, I... every time I see you streaming it, you're doing real estate. <laughs> I need all the things, okay? <laughs> I have a problem. That's so funny. I yeah. want money. Right, and that and that's one of the games like if you go completionist, like you're spending time. Like I've kind of thought about I'm like, oh, I could do all the things, and then I was like, but like mahjong, and I was like, eh, you know, that right there is kind of like eh, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I haven't really touched mahjong yet. Um... We're pretty much waiting until the time when uh, Ozzy can pop up and be like, "All right, Zantuck, here's your Mahjong tutorial." Right. But no, like, there's so much different things. There's batting. There's bowling. There's karaoke. There's like. I like the bowling. Yeah, I don't there's... like the dan the disco. Oh I yeah, am there's very, disco. very, very bad at the disco. There's uh, the hostess clubs. There's. Uh, a whole bunch of different shops and bars you can complete. Like, there's so yeah. much. My, my next stream, I should be unlocking the club stuff with Majima. Ah. And there's Majima, which is already a win. Hey, like, I, I remember when I did my first stream of it. We're on a side tangent, but fuck it. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, when yeah, I did yeah. my first stream of it, like, I was looking through menu and such, and I was like, oh, hmm, there's a second page here for another character in the completions list. That's weird. I wonder there's going to be two protagonists. And then I just completely forgot about it. And then the game uh, switched you to second protagonist, and I'm just like, what? This is a thing? Like, I'd completely forgotten that was going to be happening. Mm -hmm. So I, I, even though I had spoiled myself, I still got completely surprised. Because I thought when we were loading up on that scene, I thought it was going to be time skipping. And I thought Kiryu was the guy that they were talking about. And then all of a sudden I just see this eye patch wearing fucker. I was like, who is this? Yeah, I'm, who cur is? I'm currently, uh, Yakuza 4 is their four protagonist. Wow, okay. Yep. That's a lot of people. Yeah. I, at first, I was like, who's this? You know, like, what, what's going on here? But This ain't cure you. Right. This ain't cure you. Where he at? Um, Where he at? But, yeah. No, it's been it's been fun. Uh, I do enjoy it. And, man, did we go on a side tangent for that one. I guess we're also well, playing yeah. to try and get you in the game. Yeah. Um, I wasn't. I was trying to click join game, and it wasn't working. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to relaunch steam oh, we're doing that now okay fun yeah it's a thing ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. also it's... wait shit i did my number five okay your number four was yakuza four right yeah so our pack up to me for number four i still can't click join game i will try and send you like, I... yeah try that because i'm like i'm right clicking you in the friends list and it's just nothing is happening so this is your online invite sent. I don't got nothing. <sighs> We're doing good, ladies and gents. We're doing good. We are. Yeah, life is a fucking piece of shit. Sea of Thieves is so upset you made it number eight. <laughs> well, suck it. All right, I can't seem to invite you. It's being stupid on my end too. Yeah. Uh, we'll just move on here. Number four. Uh, do you remember last year? Uh, last year we had some good games. Yeah, do you remember what my number one was last year? Uh, let's pretend like I did. I pay attention to our content and say yes, but... Well, it wasn't on our content, so I'd be oh. surprised oh, okay. if you could remember our content and what my number one game of the year was last year. Even though I did all the editing for like the list and stuff, and that's true, that's true. You should remember it. It just wasn't a stream game or a YouTube game. Ah. Yeah, but no. But no, no. Last year, my number one game of the year was Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Amazing game. Loved it. It's a lot of fun. The characters are great, and those fuckers once again got me. <laughs> like you, pricks. Uh, but then they released a little DLC expansion called Xenoblade Chronicles Three: Future Redeemed. That covers a time period before the start of the game uh, and reunites older versions of the main protagonists from Xenoblade 1 and 2. And, uh, goddamn. Goddamn, Rex. Holy shit, guy. But, uh, it, it's a small little campaign. But it was a lot of fun. I liked it. Um, combat was mostly the same as what the main game is, but it's 
does a few tweaks to it, just like what the uh, DLC campaign for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 did to its combat system. But I had a lot of fun. Um, with see, but see, uh, uh, partially how the world got to the point that it was. We got to learn a little bit more lore about the situation they were all in. Uh, some things that we did not have answers to just from the main game. Uh, in also meet a child of each of the main characters from the first game, except those children don't know that that's their parents because memory fuckery. Hmm. Yeah. How everyone going to get memory problems in games is ridiculous. It's a called a trope for a reason. That's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, I'm not super familiar with Xeno. We so if you guys haven't noticed, me and Xantok play very vastly different, games. different games. I play good games, <laughs> and you play. Survival shims and shooters. Shooters is even a strong word. I don't play that. Uh, as I'm I sure. shoot myself out of a cannon. I'm about to break my legs though. Oh yeah. Those I mean, I won't say all your games are bad. You did play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh god, that game was so fun. You did play Pokemon Legends Arceus. I did. Yeah, but then you also played Little Dragon Cafe. That was gifted. I did that not doesn't... seek that game out. I didn't say you did. I didn't seek that one out. It was, it was it, different. And it's not that that was a bad game either. I'm just pulling shit. Right. But we have vast taste, which is what has made doing multiplayer stuff very difficult for yeah, us. Yeah, if you notice... Yeah, we like to try and find things to be multiplayer. Like, we've done a little bit of Tim Tim. Right. Which, spoiler, Tim Tim's not on my list because I haven't played enough of it. And I want to yeah, experience same. it more. Same. It hasn't made my list just purely because of um, it, it, we haven't played it enough to get the full ordeal. Like Lethal Company, I played like it was you know how it was number ten, uh, but I played it once through and was like, okay, I see how this game is, and it's the same thing over and over. So, got it. Yeah. Versus Temtem, where we're what one gym in two? Two gyms. We completed two, we completed our second gym last time. Right. Which is not far like in you know pokemon yeah. standards so i can't really add it in yet it, it is for me i'm pushing it to next year as well um just because maybe depending uh, on how far we get into next year that's also fair if we get to play it more um but yeah like we have a hard time finding games uh to play together multiplayer games because like either uh for example like uh i'm playing valheim as well that's not making it on the list this year because it's also a similar um boat as temtem um, where it's a survival, you know, multiplayer game, not up Xantox Alley. Uh, but, uh, I still wanted to play it, so I am. And yeah, so we just have a hard time with stuff like that, but we find, try to find what we can. Yeah. Which sometimes is Sea of Thieves, if it lets us play. Yeah, yeah, I've restarted Steam multiple times now. Oh. Fine. Yeah. Well, are we at number three? We are at number three. Three, three. All right. So that being said, we are currently at number our number three games of the year. The top three for both of us. And I think this is going to be the first one that is on both our lists. Ooh, my my game is all of a sudden having trouble. All is, it, of a sudden. is it Sea of Thieves? It is, which is so weird that my game was getting really glitchy and buggy during that moment. <laughs> a little bit. It's like I'm not number one. Well, f you. Um, it's so weird. Uh, yeah, I'm making Sea of Thieves my number three game of the year. Uh, pretty much here's my reasons. I don't know why. But I want to get the commendations in this game. <laughs> like, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I can't explain it. Um, mm. I just, like, have this desire to do it. Uh, two, I do enjoy, like, when me and Xantok get to play on here and we get to go around and we do the tall tales. I do like the stories and I like the puzzles uh, for the most part. So, like, we did one that the puzzles were obnoxious. But 
Um, I kind of do like the, you know, exploring the uh, treasure maps, the digging, the little bits of PvE. Um, this, I would say, up until recently, Sea of Thieves for me would have rated very low, though. Um, I kind of hinted at earlier that I'm very recently uh, came across a few people that I've played Lethal Company with as well. Um, I met him here on Sea of Thieves. Uh, I was doing Tall Tale stuff on my little snoop. And they were doing other things. And they were at the outpost I had to go to. Like, I was like, I have to turn this in here. Crap, there's a boat there. Crap. What am I going to do? And I was like, screw it, I'm running this in. I'm just going for it. Apparently, I snuck up on them somehow. They didn't even know I was coming. Which is crazy, because it was also, like, the most open outpost in the game. Like, you can see anyone coming from a mile away. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so we were just talking through game, game chat, and I was like, hey, you know, of course in this game it's, you know, this, where you have your guns that, like, uh, you cool? I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. You know? <laughs> Friendly? <laughs> and, uh, you know, everyone's so unsure, because that's how this game works. Um, <laughs> but... And so we were talking or whatever, and this was when guilds first got introduced, and they invited me to the guild, and then uh, got on their Discord, and then we actually have been like getting on brigs and galleons and stuff together, us uh, kind of a crew. Um, and the game does change drastically, I feel like, when you have a group of three or four. It becomes a completely different game, which is crazy to think about. Uh, you think it would be the same game regardless, but... Just having that more, those more people and the more firepower is huge. Like, you just, like, feel more confident. You're actually, like, seeking out fights a little bit more. It's kind of crazy. And it's kind of interesting how, like, people take on different roles on the boats. Um, and so I kind of became, like, I'm not the greatest, um, with the driving or being captain or whatever. So I kind of became the cannoneer. However you say that for Cannoneer uh, and Navigator. Uh, just kind of take on the roles that are needed. And no, oh, it's, it's just fun. Um, again, it, again, it's not making it too high because there are times where you hate people in this game. A yes. lot. Like, a lot, yes. a lot. Yes. Especially when you're doing Tall Tales. But the, that was my biggest pet peeve with the game, and they fixed it. You know, like, as we complain about it, they're like, oh, Safer seas for tall tail stuff. I'm like, that's what I wanted. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Um, and the fact that they're still constantly doing stuff for this game is cool. And you get to be a pirate. Like, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. When you're allowed to play it and the game's not being a shit. Right. It currently is being a little bit of a poop, but that's, yeah. that's I guess, is what it is. Like, I can launch the game. I'm in the game right now, but I can't join you which is so odd i will send you another invite to try i wonder if it's because of you getting booted that it's like nope he's gone but who knows um okay like normally i would think literally restarting steam logging out logging back in should have done hey did you get the invite i did oh all right progress i think invites might only work if i'm already in game oh, for this game that might work that makes sense actually yeah considering it's using xbox live that's probably why oh uh, yeah yeah that makes sense oh. but yeah see if this is fun uh I've, I've enjoyed it we've enjoyed it right. uh i don't really care about a whole guild thing like i will Literally, I only play if somebody messages me like, "Hey, you want to play?" And I'm not doing anything else. Right. It's like, yeah, I'll I'll jump in, but I'm not gonna like join a dedicated group or anything. And I didn't think I was going to either. Like, and then the the stuff for it was like, there's literally no downside to it. And I was like, all right, you know, if you guys have one, sure, I'll join it, whatever. And thinking that I was never gonna see those guys again, you know. Uh, but then no, we've been playing some other games, so it's kind of like, oh. All right, sure. Why not? So, yeah. I was like, screw it. Let's play. 
And uh, no, I've been enjoying it quite immensely. So, and then me and Zantar will get some more Tall Tales done soon. Because every Tall Tale that me and him have done, I've 100 percented it. So, yeah. I am only gonna do them once because I am insane in some cases, and in, with some games and achievements and such. This one, I uh, listen. I don't want to play the same fucking thing five times. Yeah, and I don't know why, for some reason, this game for me is the game I'm like, I have to do it five times. And I don't know why, and I can't explain it. It just has to happen. So, yeah, shut it. I don't know. I'm on your boat. Oh my god, you made it? Let's go. Yeah. Um, look out! I don't have any of my inventory anymore. Yeah, that's all gone. That's alright, I'm just selling a couple things, because, why not? To make sure we got some money today. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Hello. So, wow. that was my number Spoils three game of the year. Now that you're actually back in, yeah. what's your number three game of the year? Uh, my number three game of the year, I have to look back at it now. Uh, yeah. My number three game of the year is a game that I recently finished no, streaming. Go with, with uh, some co-commentary. Oh. Master the Technical Archives Ring Code. Uh, this is a game that is made by the creators of the Danganronpa series. So I invited Curb Walker on uh, to do some co-commentary with me since he uh, joined me for co-commentary for the entire Danganronpa series. I was like, hey, you know what? If we got some similarities here with detectives solving mysteries and there's murders and stuff. Same company of people. Let's 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 bring Curb on for this. And the game was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a couple characters, one in particular, that made things not fun. Desuhiko can go die. God, does he suck? Oh my God, he's obnoxious. He's like the typical uh, overly flirty character who just wants to like flirt with all the girls, but nobody actually likes him. Mm. Like, dude, just stop. You're an embarrassment. Uh, but I, it was a lot of fun. I like the mysteries involved with it. Um, some of them were better than others, you know, per usual. But I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the the ending has, you know, Curb and I just went, like, learnt, figuring it out before the game tells us, like, yeah, I was like, oh, it's this. And then the game's character, like, an hour later, is like, oh, my God, it's this. Like, yep, well, welcome to the conversation, Yuma. Congratulations, you figured out the mystery. What took you so long? <laughs> But uh, it was definitely fun. Um, the creators have talked about the possibility of there being a second game in the series, which may or may not have the same cast. Uh, and I'd definitely be down for it. Give me more games. I, I, It's fun. Good shit. I like me some murder mysteries. Yeah, murder mysteries good. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I saw you were playing that. I, don't, I think I maybe caught part of the stream, but I think I was... I want to say I was like doing like five different things that day and was like I had it on but it would like have to leave and catch like, yeah. part of it and I was like I don't know what's going on and then would leave right when I was starting to get it and then come back like I don't know what's going on <laughs> I, I think it's like one of maybe two games that I streamed this year that weren't initially uh, on the poll that people could force me the games from I, I pulled from those polls for the most part but where this game's like I mean the game only released this year and we, first, and we saw it's first trailer I was just like I'm playing that on stream once that comes out, and I did. And oh, it'll go on YouTube eventually. Uh, you know, actually, it may start up going up by now. I don't really know. But I'm just waiting for the thumbnails to be made. <clears throat> yeah. I, <clears throat> by the way, I have some done. Oh. Not that game, but the other one. Oh. Yeah. Because there was only 13 of the other one, and not, what, 40 something? 40 something, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just. Keep I like my games with heft. Oh, shoot. Did we find a Meg? Uh, is that the Megalodon? Yeah, it's the Megalodon. We, we fight there he is. Let's fight it. Oh, absolutely. I'm going like, to raise sails a little. Actually, you know what? I'm going to anchor. We're going to fight this thing. All right. Well, with that, that was our number three games of the year. We are on to two. Oh my god, are you excited, Zantok? Uh, maybe? Why? Should I be excited? I mean, it's number two. Like a poo? Like a poo. 
Uh, so it's going to be a bad game. Bad, bad game. It's number two. Um, so, uh, my number two game of the year, I kind of got to put a little asterisk next to. Oh? Yeah. Um, because I technically have played it before this year, but I've added an expanded mod to it. I'm talking Stardew Valley Expanded. Uh, and the reason why I'm like saying, you know, normally like mods is like, eh, that can go either way. Um, the reason why I'm like, yeah, this counts. It added almost like double the amount of the original game and still had the original game. Um, and so me and Pro Tip played it on stream and we had a whole marriage war competition thing that was super fun. Oh my um, god. Yeah, that was super, super fun. I've never, I've never seen the Megalodon do that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's how they attack. Um, and I have to admit, I loved a lot of the new characters. I love the new storyline. Really upset that apparently you played it wrong. You know, it's a thing. Wait, what do you mean you played it wrong? Apparently, we didn't realize is that when you do the expanded mod, you're supposed to go the Joja route, which no one ever does. But they add more Joja, um, Joja Mark line stuff. Like oh, the okay. main Joja guy is, um, that's his shtick. Like, he's now a character. You can talk with him, befriend him, and we didn't because we went the other route, and then he just disappeared. Like, oh, shoot. We messed up. Hmm. Um, but no, it, he still was a really fun, and we binged it, me and uh, Pro Tip. You really did. You guys yeah. played it very quickly. Yeah, we played it very quickly and nonstop. It was a thing. But, and now they've added another update to the game, so you could play it again. Yeah, I probably would just load up my single-player world and play that, though. Um, and then you can do JoJo. True, wow. but if we... Did the... Did I go down leave? Oh, no, he's still back. But if we were to uh, play it again, uh, we might add, like, another mod that adds a bunch of people and places and things. Um, so, yeah, we do stuff like that. There's sirens here. Yeah, they're being obnoxious. Um, Since when would sirens attack the ship? I think because you were in the water at one point. Shoot him. I'm hurt. Um, but yeah, so I got to give that to my number two. And plus, I've always really liked Stardew. See, like, here's a good example of a game I love and Xantok despises. I wouldn't say I despise it, but, like, I, I you had me trial it a little bit, and there was just, like, a lot of annoyance that I had with it. Like, the whole energy system was a big trigger point for me. It's like, I don't want to play a game where I'm being forced to deal with this energy shit. That's why I don't play mobile games. Like, if I, I don't want to do... That's not fun. Let me do the things. And then I get to nighttime. I'm two steps outside of the house. And then it hits, like, whatever the fuck it was. 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever. And it's like, oh, you passed out in front of your house. And we're going to charge you money for carrying you two feet into your door and tucking you in. It's like... That's bullshit. Hey, the doctor's gonna make money in the, in the town somewhere. I don't give a shit. That's <laughs> bullshit. Harvey needs his money. Uh, he can get it like everybody else. Five. Respectably. Huh. Also, where did the Megalodon sink? Uh, it was off to the left, I thought. Look for birds. Uh, I don't Hello. see anything under the water. Moving. Oh, I think it's up in front to the... Okay, I think I see where it is. Maybe. Um, but yeah. Not fun. So that's my number two game Ooh. of the year. Is Stardew Valley Expanded. Uh, 
So that leads us to your number two game of my the year. number two. My number two. Funny yeah. thing about my number two. Uh, it's number two. It's poop. You know, according to the Game Awards, because oh. it was nominated, but it didn't win anything. Marvel Spider-Man Two. It didn't win anything. It didn't win anything. Wow. To be fair, it had a good competition like Baldur's Gate. It was up against, which a great game. Uh, I found a bunch of loot. I don't think this is Megalodon loot. This is a Megalodon. That's weird. Why would the Megalodon drop this shit? Uh, they drop random stuff, but because there's also Megalodon meat in the water too. Well, this is new. Skeleton Captain's chest. I've never seen that. Um, but Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a lot of fun. I understand why its competition beat it out, but it's great. I fucking loved it. It was one of those games for me where it's like, okay, I can't stop playing. I need to keep going and just beat this whole fucking thing. And I did. 100% ever a fucking thing. Uh, I'm really hoping that there's DLC for it, like the first game had. Uh, and they're clearly te teasing another game and more characters because the epilogue of the game teased another spider character. So I'm curious to see what they'll do with them. It's not the character that I thought they were going to include. It's somebody else, like, oh, okay, interesting. Um, but the, the, in this game, there's really only, the first game, like, a collection of villains that you were dealing with in the main story. Uh, Doc Ock was the primary villain, but they really had the whole Sinister Six thing going on. Because you also had Electro, you had, uh, you had Rhino for a bit, um, uh, Shocker was there, not, not, not Shocker, um, fuck. Doc Ock, Electro, Mr. Negative had a big part in the story. Scorpion was there for a bit of it. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else I'm missing. A vulture. Fuck it, that's all I care about. But in this game, there were really only three villains, and the first one was really only at the beginning of the game. Uh, there were a couple others that like were in some of the side content, like Mysterio was part of the side content. But like your opening mission had to go with Sandman, uh, but then, uh, it's not really a spoiler because we knew it from promotional material, but uh, Craven the Hunter has a big chunk of the story. And Venom, the one of the biggest Spider-Man villains out there, uh, was a big part of the game as well. So, you know, you get the whole classic symbiote suit storyline with Peter, and he starts to become a real dick once he's been wearing it for a while. And all the characters are just like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with Peter? He's being a real asshole. It's like, yup, he is. You guys will find out why later. Don't worry. And uh, Venom was fun. V Venom was really fun to deal with. Uh, there's actually a small segment of the game where you play as Venom. Just rampaging through Oscorp and just causing mayhem there. On top of that, you know, you're, you're playing not just as Peter Parker Spider-Man, but as Miles Morales, who was introduced in the first game. And then he had his own whole side, uh, not a side game, but like he had his whole uh, a, game, a game of smaller scale that released for him um, a couple years ago, where they established what his abilities were. And then um, this game built off of that for both of them. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. I ended up voting for it for Game of the Year uh, in the Game Awards, purely because uh, Baldur's Gate 3, I've um, only, I've only gotten through Act 1. So I didn't really feel like I could vote for it yet. And then none of the other games were anything I play. So I was like, I vote for Spider-Man. And I gave it both of my votes in different categories. And then it won nothing. It's like, I mean, I'm not surprised. I was hoping to get something. But Baldur's Gate. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. A good fucking game. I can't wait for Spider-Man 3. It's, it's going to happen. Uh, they're also making a Wolverine game, which is which is confirmed to be in the same uh, world. I don't know if it'll be in New York, but it's going to be like in the same uh, timeline and setting. Or not setting, but like the same the same verse as the Spider-Man games. And there's rumors of a Venom game. There's rumors of a Black Cat game. Uh, I, give me give me more give me more of this world. I love me with some shit. Uh, it looks, I mean, from the trailers, or, or from what I've seen of it, it looked really good. Never played, I, I was never big into the, um, not Spider-Man, but necessarily, like, uh, 
Marvel. Uh, Marvel slash DC. I, I wasn't super big into it as a kid. I kind of got more into it later. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So, I, I, again, like, the games for me were like, yeah, sure, maybe. You know, but it wasn't, like, anything that I sought out to uh, too much. Yeah. And, I mean, like, a very important distinction to make is that it is an action-adventure game and not a fighting game, even though there's a lot of mm -hmm. fighting in it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of swinging around and uh, kicking people off of rooftops, uh -huh. which is very enjoyable. Uh, but I've also just, like, just the swinging around New York is fun itself. Like, doing nothing but just swinging around from building to building. It's honestly relaxing. Nice. That sounds weird. I know. Right. But it's relaxing to just swing around New York City. And they added even more of New York than what was in the first game. Like, they added a whole other section that you could go through. Uh, so, you know, we just did the number two strike. Yeah, we just took two. We just took two. Now, that should mean it's time for the number one game of the year. Yeah, mathematics check out. Ma yeah, mathematics check out, but it's not. What? What? Crazy. What you talking about? It is not time for the number one game of the year. We gotta take a little... Intermission, we gotta take a little break. Oh, good, I've been eating a water break. Right. Uh, we're, we're gonna stop the list for the moment. We gotta go to our honorable mentions. Like Xantok said earlier, the honorable mention is not necessarily the 11th game on our list. It is a game for whatever reason we wanted to give credit to. Maybe it's the number 11 game on the list, or it could be something like it didn't you didn't give it a chance that you think it deserved, or I know I did one year a game I kickstarted that kind of fell flat for me. Um, there's there, there could be many reasons that a game gets the honorable mention, but not necessarily a top 10 spot. So... That's kind of what we're looking at when we say the honorable mention for the game, right? Yeah. That being said, my honorable mention is Remnant 2. I got to play it like two and a half hours, three hours with Pro Tip. My the reason I'm giving it honorable mention and not giving it a spot is my computer hated it. Absolutely could not stand... I see what you're doing. Uh, could not stand the game. Um, it was just like wanting to crash, and it did eventually, and I couldn't get the game back up and running. I had to get it refunded. It was a thing. However, I could see the game being kind of fun. Not my typical kind of game. It is a sh more of a shooter... Slash, oh, there's vomit on this barrel. Um, yeah, that's from me. I know. Uh, not your typical shooter type. Type. It was. It. It's a weird game. I wouldn't have minded gotten to play it actually, you know, and maybe do more with it. But my computer just said, nah, nah, nah. So I was like, kind of okay, like when I first tried Dead by Daylight, and I took oh. two steps towards the game. It's like, nope. Oh my god, that was one of the funniest when you first tried to play Dead by Daylight. It was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, so kind of like that. I've also, I really haven't had that happen to me a ton. Uh, I would say besides uh, this game, like I think that happened to me with Red Dead Redemption 2. Where my computer mm. said, you know what, no, you're not allowed to do this. And I was like, alright, fair. Um... Why did you do that? I had to sell all the treasure. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's my honorable mention. Not quite making the list. Xantok, tell us, what's uh -huh. your honorable mention and why? Well, first of all, I want to say that um, three games that didn't make the list that some people may have expected to. But, they, but all of them weren't because I just haven't played enough of them. I think they've all actually been mentioned. Hey, look, I got an achievement. Nice. nice. Uh, like, Yakuza 0. I'm still playing it. I started playing it this year, but it's not done yet. We're not even halfway through. I'm only in Chapter 7. So, it'll be eligible next year. Tim Tim. We're two gems in. Not eligible. 
Maybe it'll be eligible next year. Depends on how much we play. Baldur's Gate 3! Only just gotten into the second act. Uh, so, not eligible yet. It'll be more eligible next year. So that's why those games aren't on here. And you may be wondering, it's like, well, you said you like the game, so it's not even on your top ten. What? Like, n next year. Next year. Have some patience. But um, my actual honorable mention was originally going to... I originally planned for it to be a separate game. Then I looked through all the games while I was, like, doing my typical thing that I do to figure out what my top ten is going to be. And originally, I was having, I was going to have it be Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, because it's a, a collection of the, all the older Battle Network games on Game Boy Advance. And I've been replaying through them all on, on stream, and it's been a lot of fun getting to replay those games. But I didn't do that because, I mean, it's just a collection. And I had something else that I felt was a valid choice. And this is a game that I did not think I would ever play. Until one day, I had a cursed moment in my brain, and I went, what if I put up a uh, community challenge on on stream where people, where <laughs> when they raise points for it, they can make me now. play a dating sim. And some of them thought they were going to get the shoes of the dating sim, but it's not just like, ha ha, no, I don't trust any of y'all fuckers. I picked the dating sim before I even put up the challenge, and it got funded. Of course it would, like, come the fuck on. I have said before, I will not play dating sims, then I allowed them to force me to play a dating sim. But I played Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim. It didn't make the number one spot. What? Nah, nah. It could have made the number 10 spot, but I felt like F-099 was a better choice than Hooked on You. Uh, but I gave it the honorable mention because it, it technically would be the, the number 11 on my list. Uh, in this case, which, oof, boy, uh, it's, it's a game, um, I didn't really think it was, hey, that's treasure over there. Yeah, that's it. I didn't really think, like, it was super great, like, it, it had some funny stuff to it, but and I wasn't, the reason, I, I only said I was gonna play one stream at minimum, because I didn't know, like, what the content would be, but then it ended up being fine, there was no problems with the content of the game, it wasn't, like, weird. <laughs> Like, I thought it might get with stuff. I was like, okay, we can keep going. Sure. And, you know, it ended up being okay. It's not anything huge to write home about. It's just... It's a silly little dating sim. Because the fans of Dead Dead Daylight are horny degenerates. <laughs> you know it's true. That's fair. We all know it's true. But I, I played through the game. I got all the endings. And I got all the achievements. Because I'm just like, hey, you know what? I might as well, because I'm a crazy person. And eventually, get on YouTube, it's just going to get those thumbnails done. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. Not uploaded, but they're done. Well, where the hell are they? I did it right before we started this stream, uh, this recording. Noise. So. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna upload the other one. I want to upload the other series first. Oh, so well, <laughs> because I did. The, I played that game first. Right, that makes sense. It's on the list. Actually, I was playing both at the same time, but I started uh, Raincoat first. It's on the list. But yeah, so those are our honorable mentions. One actually being the number 11 spot on one of our game lists, and one just being unable Again. to be played. So, again, very different reasons that they could be played. I technically had five horrible mentions. Yeah, true, you did, you did kind of keep going. I, I just wanted to give reasons for why these games were on there, you know. Right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So, with that said, uh, it's time for your number one <gasps> game of the year for 2023. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. My number one game of it's the year. Already. I'm picking a nap. Wow. Rude. Is the game of the year. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. It's Baldur's Gate 3. 
The game is Stop. fantastic. Like, when I looked through the list of games I played, I was like, that one, number one, without hesitation. Everything else took thought on where it was being placed, except this game. It was so much fun. Me and Protip binged the heck out of it. Um, and even had, like, second character going. I think I over-binged myself with it, because then I stopped after we beat it. I was like, all right, I need a break. Um, it's so fun, and, like, I love D&D, and it feels very D&D. Like, you feel it, you live it. It just is, like, the role, actually seeing the roles happen, the story is very good. Get you hooked in it right away with just, oh, God, the eyes. Ugh. That's as much as I'll say on that, but they, they tie you in right away with it. Oh, that, yeah. 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 And you're like, no, 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 I don't like, no, they'll, they'll stop this, right? Like, it's not going to happen. No, it happens. Um, but it's so fun, and, like, the NPCs that you can get with you are all fantastic. Like, they are interesting, their characters are unique, um, I like a lot of them. There's only, like, one I don't care for, but I feel like that's just because I had to have one that you don't care for as much as the others, you know? But, like, Astarian, oh, he's great, Carlac, fantastic, you know, things like that. And the story is just so good. So, so good. Uh, my computer was having trouble in Act 3. I will say that. My computer's like, please kill me. But I was like, no, we're still playing. I don't care. I'm, be I'm playing this game. And, again, another one of those games where you do everything. You try and do all the side stuff you can do. Because it's just... It's just... Mwah. It's just so good. It gets claps. Uh, how, how does it feel clapping a hook hand? You know, I'm surprised by the noise that it makes, but um, yeah. it feels right, Bob. It feels right. So, so I, I guess I have a couple questions. Yeah. Uh, who's the companion that you didn't care for as much? Uh, Gale. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I don't like Gale. Shadowheart yeah. would be close, but uh, uh, we had we took her a bit more than uh, Gale. And so I got to, you know, learn more about her story, whereas Gail, I just could not care less. Yeah, uh, my, my campaign I've been doing, Shadowheart has been a constant part of the party. Uh, one cleric, I mean, come on. Right. Uh, and then our fourth slot has been rotating between mostly Lazelle and Carlac, and then a little bit of Will. But, because, you know, more damage. Right. I get another frontliner up there. Right. Uh Cause we, cause it's, cause I'm the ranged character, and then Dots is playing as a paladin. Yeah, so. I was a ranger, so. Yeah, Gloom Stalker, hell yeah. Uh, and then also second care, second question: Who's best girl? Uh, best girl. Yeah. Carla. Oh wait, I'm sorry. In our run, Minthara. Um, but we didn't. Um, we we tried yeah. to go that route and. Apparently she's very hard to get, and it was she's easier somewhere. to get now. That, yeah, that's, I she, heard. She's not easier to get. I had the romance scene with her though, and it was in it was really detailed. <laughs> I was oh, surprised. Boy. It went uh, on a lot longer than I thought it would, <laughs> which is really I, awkward I, when you're playing with other people. Mm, yeah, I, I'm in a second campaign now with three people, and our fourth slot is rotating between a few. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that one. I, I kind of want to try to, like, not necessarily recruit Minthar, but make sure that the new method to recruit her does work. Because that way, on my single playthrough that I'll eventually do, uh, I'm planning on doing a mod that lets you have, like, eight people in your party. Oh, so God. I can have everybody running right. with me. Yeah. Because I want to see, like, all the, all the things. I don't want to do this rotating shit. Right. Uh, and then I can um, recruit Minthar for real in that one. And I can have her in my party. I'll lose Halson, but I'll have had Halson for two runs, most likely, so I won't really care about losing Halson. Plus, right. I I don't think I care too much about him. It's like, okay, cool, big, beefy druid, man. All right. Okay. Right. All um, right. Well, that's my number one game of the year. 
So, I have to say, what is your mm -hmm. game of the year? Well, my number one game of the year did not release this year. No, 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 indeed. They, I don't know when they released, but, uh, oh, what's, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, <laughs> my number one game of the year is a sequel to a game that I think was on my list last year. Yeah. Funnily enough, the, the, ga the, sequ the game this was a sequel to got number two last year. But this year, I have... I'm taking notes. Oh, okay. I thought you were doing a caricature. Uh, this game is Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. The sequel to Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. This, both these games, but this game is nutty. It's It's got a lot of puzzle and escape room stuff that you're trying to go through because you're being threatened to be killed if you can't solve the mysteries and shit. But there's also multiple timelines and decisions that you can go through and you make a decision on one timeline you go down its track make they make a different decision you go down a different track but it's a thing unlike most games that have decision making in them all your decisions are canon every timeline is canon because this it doesn't make sense but your characters the canon explanation that your character's consciousness can jump from one point in time to another across these different timelines. So you remember things that happened in different times, so you can use that information to help solve things later on. Like, you have, like there's one character who was a terrorist and planted oh. bombs trying to blow everybody up. Hmm. But you don't know who they are in that timeline, and you can't disarm the bombs because they have specific codes. And you have to find those codes in other timelines, and your character will remember those codes when you get back to the timeline with the bombs. Which is a really cool concept! I fucking love that. It's a, it's very confusing when you're going through things, you're trying to piece it all together. But it's actually a really cool game. Uh, yeah, years and years and years ago, I saw a game called Nine Hours, Nine Personal Doors. Like, that's a really weird title. I kind of want to play that. But I didn't get to play it. And then it was on that poll for people to force me to play a game, and it won. So I played the first game last year, and then I played the second game this year, and I'm going to play the third game next year, uh, which I've heard is not as good, but I still want to play it. It's still, you know, in the same timeline, same continuity of things, uh, dealing with events. And I'm very curious what they'll do with it. But I had a lot of fun with it. The finale of the game is kind of infamous for me. Because uh, I thought I was getting close to the end of the game. I was like, I was at the end of my stream. I normally stream for four hours. Oh, and I remember I, this. Uh-huh. And I was at like the three and a half hour mark. And I was like, okay, we got to be, we're, 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 we're at the end. We can we can power through and finish this game. We can go a little bit past our normal time and finish the game. And then it got to being six hours. And so I was like, man, the game's not over yet. It doesn't, it, it feels like we're close to the end, but we're not at the end. And then it got to be eight hours. I was like, oh my God. When are we gonna get to the ending? I, I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind. I think I actually had dinner at this point. I turned off my camera and I ate chicken nuggets because <laughs> I needed food. Yeah, as you do. And then the game kept going until ten hours of the stream. I could have gone another two or three more weeks finishing the game with my normal stream schedule. It the final stream was ten hours, and by the end of it. Well, I love the game. I was definitely ready for it to be over so I could sign out and do other things because it was getting late. It's like, oh my god. It's Sunday and it's like 10 o'clock. I need to go to bed. Actually, it would have been... No, it would have been more closer to midnight. Fuck. God. It, it's great. I love the game, but man, was me powering through in that... The finale night, a mistake. <laughs> oh, I was going nuts. Like every, it, you, know, you know, like how the third Lord of the Rings movie, like it doesn't end because there's so many things where it's like, oh, that's gotta be ending, right? And it was on to another scene. That happened. And you're like, oh, this is the ending. Yeah, that that's what this game did. Like every time I thought we were at the ending, it was like, ah, one more thing. It's like, all right, Uncle, listen, I know magic was defeat magic, but can we get to the end of this game? 
amazing though. Fucking loved it. And I'm playing uh I forgot the name of the third game. I'm playing it's Zero Time Dilemma. I'm absolutely gonna be playing Zero Time Dilemma uh in twenty twenty four. Nice. Well, like we kinda said, it was kind of a lackluster year, even though we still had some bangers. Oh but hell yeah. Overall, I would say a weaker list for me than usual. Um, yeah. I'm hoping next year we get some more games. We would like to know what your top 10 games of the year that you played. Uh, if you want to come up with a list, please leave it in the comments. We love reading them and seeing what you guys played as well. If you want to put we readings, really you go right ahead. Uh, but we like reading those and uh, talking with them, or talking with you guys about them. So, yeah, yeah hit we, us up. Discord, we, too. We love comments. Uh, we don't necessarily always respond to every comment on videos. But we do read them. Right. That is very uh, true. Especially all the first ones. And we're like, shut up. Yeah, or the one that's clearly from bots. Right. Those or that one good. guy who got mad that we banned him from chat when he was being strange. And then he went on to one of our videos and it's like, you shouldn't watch these content creators. They're mean. It's like, dude, you literally, in your first message, uh, went sent. I don't remember what it was, but it was like, you sent a really weird and questionable message as your first chat on stream right what did you think was gonna happen right but anyway uh so yeah let us know what your top 10 games were or if you don't remember that many top five top three your favorite game you know whatever you remember uh we love reading it and discussing them and i think with that we end it as any sea of thieves should end what's that Oh, uh, I had some of those, and then I died. Oh. I also may have found an explosive and put it in the boat. I was wondering why it immediately blew up. Yeah, so... Um... Well, there's only one thing to do in a time like this. <laughs> Forgive me to play this song, because it's just right. I don't know what the song is. This is We Shall Sail Together. Aw. Well, shouldn't we actually have the ship be sailing? Um, it's not gonna go anywhere with now. The mass is down. But we still could have put it in a direction first, and it would have been sailing while it sunk. It's fine. You didn't think this through, did you? Oh, I, I thought enough of to get the explosive. That's about all I needed. Yeah, that sounds about right. But yeah, we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us through 2023. We hope to see you in 2024. Xantok and I both stream, and that's where a lot of our games come from. So check us out on uh, twitch.tv slash wayoptrail. And we got twitch.tv slash Xantok. And as always, check out our Discord. Uh, if you want to put your top 10 games there, that's even better, because we can just comment a little bit faster, probably. Um, and have more of a discussion about it. If you're a part of our Discord. Hmm? You know, it, where, where trail? Did you know? Did you know that uh, in three years we'll have done ten years of Slugstar Gaming and ten years of uh, Games of the Year, which oh. means we can do a Games of the Decade. I think we should. We can still play music while we're in the water. Well, technically we're still on the boat, but yeah, you can play music in the water. I am definitely not. Oh, I'm not. Well, I guess air. we are technically yeah. on the boat. We're not going up for air. This is. We are not going up for air. This no. is how we die. This is how we go. But yeah, uh, so we hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, how am I not drowning yet? I don't know. Oh, okay. There was the boat. There with the boat. Either because we are still technically on the boat. Okay, now I'm starting to drown. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we had an ashen key. I forgot about and whatever that is. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, hi, Siren. Yeah, that's our mermaid. Yeah. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. I am. Uh, Whoa, am I getting close to the surface? Play. Hold on, no, 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 yeah, no, no. We're, we're... Go, get down, go down. No, we're on the surface. No! I made it up! Ah, oh, you're not going to drown as fast. I'm not, which means I live longer than you. I was about to... I didn't have any blood. I get to watch you die. Ah. Uh. I wonder if I can resurrect you while wait if you, you die from drowning. Don't. It's fine. But but it would be funny. Seeing as I'm about to go. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time in 2024. Have a good one. Ooh. Finally.
I am the last one standing. Well, he's dead. <laughs>